Oh, total revenue and elasticity. So this video is going to be all about definitions and in the next video we're going to do some more about total revenue and elasticity but we got to know the definitions first. So total revenue is pretty much from the sale of goods and services and that is equal to the price of a good times the quantity sold. And you gotta know that when price changes, then total revenue also changes. But a rise in price doesn't always increase total revenue. So we're gonna go through this uh, blackboard uh, with notes on it. So a change in total revenue due to price change depends on the elasticity of demand. And pretty much uh, when we have elastic demand, a 1% price cut would increase the quantity sold by more than 1% and then there's a total revenue increase. <laughs> so for example, we have uh, a good sub we have this product and this product has a really good substitute for it. Now, if we cut the price of our product, then people will buy the cheaper item or our cheaper product because it's a good substitute. So our price cut increases the quantity sold and that increases our total revenue. Now inelastic demand. For inelastic demand, a 1% price cut increases the quantity sold by less than 1% and the total revenue decreases. The idea here is that we only have some buyers that will buy this certain good. So go so we have some buyers and their demand is always the same. So their demand is not going to go higher or lower based on the change in price. So you won't and you can't increase the number of buyers. So you're just selling to the same buyers at a cheaper price. And this will lead to a loss in total revenue. So an example of that was going back to our in insulin example. We sell insulin cheaper, but we are only selling to the same crowd of diabetics. So they only buy the amount that they need. So we're just selling it to these diabetics at a cheaper price. That will lead us to lose money. <laughs> now unit elastic demand is, all you need to know about that is a 1% uh, price cut increases the quantity sold by 1% and the total revenue does not change. So you just gotta know that the total revenue does not change is what's important there. And next we're gonna talk about the total revenue test. Now, the total revenue test is pretty much a method of estimating the price elasticity of demand by observing the change in total revenue that results from a price change when all other influences on quantity sold stays constant. And, well, the definition of the total revenue total revenue test is not exactly as important as what we have on the green board. So, the total revenue test on the green board says if a price cut increases total revenue, then demand is elastic. <clears throat> the idea behind this is that a price cut in elastic range brings increase in total revenue because the percentage increase in quantity demanded is greater than the, uh, the, de the decrease in price. Pretty much the total sales are greater than the total accumulated decrease in price. So you could think of it as we have an unlimited amount of people, but these people have limited money. However, there is a higher chance of increasing revenue because more people will buy and that will give us, uh, that will give us the, pretty much an increase in quantity demanded. And the, in, the percentage increase in quantity demanded is greater than our loss, which is our percentage decrease in price. Now, if a price cut decreases total revenue, then of course we know that in that situation the demand is inelastic, and a price cut in an inelastic range brings decrease in revenue because the percentage change in quantity demanded is less than the total uh, accumulated decrease in price or the percentage decrease in price. So total sales are less than the accumulated decrease in price. And the idea here is there is a limited amount of people and they don't have unlimited money so that they can so selling it to these people we can't increase our revenue that way 
Now, if a price cut leaves the total revenue unchanged, then all you need to know is that demand is unit elastic. And at unit elasticity, the total revenue is at maximum and we will go through all these or we will go through these pointers again in the next video where, where I'll, uh, I'll introduce it in another, in another perspective with graphs. But other than that, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.